What up, my name is Phil Carr, and I closed over a million dollars for myself and my clients, and I have nothing to sell you. Now, we're going to talk about how to start a business and why you should, okay? Number one, I've started two, and both of them did over six figures. One, I think, in the first two years, the second one in the first year. Now, plenty of people have done way more than that, but what I'm telling you is I've done that, and I can help you from that level. A lot of people want to go learn from Alex from OZ or whoever else, and those guys are great. I learned a ton from them, but... Not everything they say is applicable to me. And I always like to learn from a lot of people. So what I do is I encourage you to look into something that you already know. And a very important question to ask yourself is, what am I willing to do? That's a big one because you're not going to want to do this stuff every single day. Nobody does. Almost nobody. Um, and that's that's debatable. This depends on how you define that. What up? So here's what I would say, man. One thing that I did when I was starting my business and I was looking at all of the different money-making opportunities, that's another thing I think a lot of people don't do enough is they don't take full stock of the amount and, and what the actual opportunities are available to them in front of them. So I would just really encourage everybody to do that because what that's going to do is it's going to give you a wider plethora of like things that you can go after because if you only just like do the first thing that comes your way you might not be really be a good fit for it or you might just be trying to make yourself force it fit yourself into something that's not really good for you and so you know i've gone through that process and i can force myself to be an entrepreneur and i can and i am but there's other things about business that i like more now what you're gonna do step one ask yourself what am i willing to do what do i like what do i care about what do I give a shit about? Literally ask yourself, what do I give a shit about? What do I like doing? Okay, number two, you're gonna develop an offer around that. You're gonna develop a value add to somebody. And however much you wanna charge, you get to provide three times that amount of value. Some, some number above fucking one for what you need to provide to them. Okay, you're gonna figure out how to provide it for, to them. Now don't overcomplicate this. Everybody's gonna be like, this is big. No, it's not. It's very, 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 very simple. And now, yes, that might be a little bit of me, you know, having studied my ass off in business and starting to myself, that is very simple and makes a lot of sense to me. But maybe to you, if either you're super brand new, you're on your first one, if you're on, if, if you're anywhere after your first business, this isn't gonna be a super crazy concept to you. Create your offer, figure out how to communicate properly to your target audience, make context on the, in the places that they hang out, whether that could be cold calls, that could be, that could be planes with literally like banners flying behind them, it could be bandit signs, social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, you can do all that. Figure out how to communicate with your target audience and then help them, like actually help them, like actually have fun with it and help them. Because if you don't, it's just not gonna be fun for anybody, man. And life is too short to not enjoy it. I mean, if you don't enjoy, you know, you can have all the money in the world and if you're not enjoying your life, you know, I mean, that, I was listening to this guy the other day on the Brad Lee podcast, he was really awesome. He was like, um, there's this dude that had been in jail for like 10 years or some shit, Wes, Wes something. And the guy was like, he said it, he said it out loud. He was like, there were days I had better days in prison than some days in my penthouse with a million bucks in my pocket. And that are the things that I refer back to to keep myself from falling in this trap of thinking that money is everything because it's not. So you really need to understand what you care about and what you like to do so that you can actually engage in a business that you care about. Because if you don't, you're literally just going to force yourself into things that you don't want to be in. And it's good. You're going to, you know, you, you fall to your, you know, to your worst days and you rise, you do rise as a human, human beings do rise, but you want to do something you can sustain, do something you can sustain. That'll be your keys to success.